Michigan town that stood up to the Chinese Communist Party is now facing a massive lawsuit. We've been following this story for a long time. We were the only cable news network to be there throughout the whole time. Green Charter Township took it into their own hands. The state of Michigan wouldn't help them. The federal government wouldn't help them. And the community voted out its board of supervisors. The board had agreed to let a Chinese company build a massive EV battery plant north of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Community members worried the board was selling out to the Chinese, so they got together and they threw the board out. Now the firm behind the battery plant is suing the new board for nearly two and a half billion dollars. They claim the new board breached the contract of the old board. The lawsuit says the board won't approve a water line for the plant. Without a water line, you can't build a plant. Brian Anton has quite literally been on this story since day one, joins us now. I guess, Brian, uh, congratulations to you, because if a lawsuit is citing News Nation reporting, uh, you're doing something right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about that. I, you know, I was kind of surprised to see our reporting in there. Um, but it, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I mean, we did the story for you, Leland, when the town basically threw out, well, not basically, they did throw out their entire local government because they were upset about this Chinese-affiliated plant coming in. They elected all new people who promised to, that they would do everything they could to stop the plant, which is what they've been doing. Essentially, they won't hook up the water line. They're not cooperating with the Chinese-affiliated plant, Goshen. Uh, and now Goshen is taking them to federal court. They called me shocked on Friday. They were served with a federal lawsuit uh, on Friday saying that they are uh, for breach of contract, essentially. All right. And they want a bunch of money. Obviously, it's something that could bankrupt the town on, on and on and on. 27 acres of land, $2.4 billion of investment for this EV battery factory, 2,350 jobs. It was going to be a big deal for, for people who are uh, from Michigan. Uh, or know anything about Michigan. The people in the state of Michigan kind of put up their hand, right, to show you uh, where something is. They'll, they'll come back to me on camera uh, and, and take me full so I can show you where in Michigan this is. Uh, you'd have Detroit uh, down about here. You'd have Chicago uh, over here. Grand Rapids is right here. This plant is all, all the way north. Um, there's a lot of other places that Goshen could go to build this plant if they're going to even keep building it, given the, the lack of EVs and demand for EVs these days. Uh, why are they so invested in this? Why, why fight this? Well, first of all, it's obvious you're from the Midwest because that was good with the hand and everything. Mm. That was a good demonstration. Uh, <laughs> but look, by the way, they're not necessarily suing for money right now. They are suing to get a federal judge to force the local government hmm. to allow them to hook up the water and move forward with the, with the project, which is kind of an interesting question. If Goshen made this previous deal with the old government, the old government got thrown out over the deal, new government comes in, does the new government have to legally um, adhere to some parts of this deal? I guess that's what the judge is, is going to decide. It's a town of 3,000 people. One thing I was thinking about is how are they going to afford to fight Goshen, this big, massive company? Yeah. Um, in court, you're, you're but like, I just you're learned something interesting. But listen to this. This is something, this is a secret weapon I didn't know about. They just told me about. They apparently, Green Charter Township, the little Michigan town, has an insurance policy. If they get sued, they get $2 million from this insurance policy, I'm told, to fight a lawsuit. They can't use that money to go out and sue someone, but they say they believe they now will be able to use all of that to fight mm. back, which which might be something Goshen uh, didn't know about. Yeah, well, two million bucks to Goshen isn't that big of a deal. But that said, you right. would think, and look, you know, administrations change. I, I guess a contract's a contract. You've got to, at some level, uh, agree to what the, the, last, the last administration did. But in a bigger sense, right, Little Town stands up to the, a company controlled by the Chinese government. You'd think that either the state of Michigan or the federal government would want to come in and help, has there been any rallying cry? Has there been any attempt to, to help these folks? I mean, not from the state of Michigan. They are very much for the project. The governor is for it. Um, and they have given them huge tax incentives. They want Goshen to move in. Mm -hmm. So the state is not going to help this little town. That's the problem they've had all along. Another thing they're hoping is, since this is in federal court, which I'm still trying to figure out why why it's federal court. I haven't been able to nail that down. But 
But the township is hoping that they may have a better shot with a federal judge because they think uh -huh. that the Michigan judges may be unfair. So that's, that's something they're hoping Goshen uh -huh. didn't fully think through, that the federal judge may actually be on their side. Ryan, uh, very humble, uh, of course, as a correspondent in terms of what uh, you've done in this story. But you put this story on the map. Uh, it's incredibly important. Keep, keep at it. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.